almost ran into my own motorcycle. What's up, everybody? I bought a toy. It's awesome. It's a uh, 2022 Indian FTR 1200 Carbon R. It's a V-twin. It has 120 horsepower. And it's pretty fun. It's awesome. My Goldwing appreciates not being beaten like it owes me money, because it owes me nothing. I just owe money on this now. Anyway, uh, we've put 200 miles on it, and now we have to change stuff. Because <laughs> I, I, I like to fiddle with things. So uh, let me show you what we're going to change. So as you can see, this side of the bike looks amazing. I mean, I really wish there was some sort of exhaust where I could see the swing arm and the shock at the same time. But you either have like high mount exhaust, like total flat tracker style, or the low mount. And I, you either hide in the swing arm or the shock. And they look really cool. It would be, you can't see them both at the same time though, so what do you do? I'm just going to keep the factory exhaust. It's all titanium and groovy. It's cool. Akropovich. Akropovich. Something like that. This side of the motorcycle also looks awesome. Um, but you start going back and back and back and back. What is that? What is this thing? Ah. That thing just ruins the back of the motorcycle. So, uh, we're gonna see if we can do something about it. So let's uh let's start taking it apart. Oh, Torx fasteners. We got Torx. Torx, Torx, Torx. Let's get down in here and see what we got behind here. Nice, the whole thing comes off in one piece. Got some wiring right here. Three of them. Oh, don't drop it. That's to be uh, awfully hard to make look good up here. <clears throat> so, it's not going to hurt to take this thing a little further apart. We can definitely use parts off of it. We don't have to cut up what's here. We don't, I don't even need to use that fender. And I suppose we could make our own bracket for a license plate. I want to kind of see what's involved here. This is my right pen signal. I should mark it. I mean, we can definitely build a bracket of our own design. Why is there a bunch of hair in this? What did I hit? <laughs> huh. Anyway. <laughs> like one of the dogs was rubbing up against her or a cat or something. Yeah, maybe we should just build our own bracket. Let me show you something. So we have these accessory holes right here that we can use under the passenger grab handle. 
and we can build a bracket and it comes down off of there to hold that. Maybe a bracket for each side just to hold the tail lights. That wouldn't be a bad a bad deal, I don't think. Be nicer if they were kind of back here, not under the grab handle. I don't know what I have for metal. I don't think I have anything that thin that I really want to use. We'll build a spot for the blinkers and the license plate, and then we can take this off of here. Which, I guess is technically a bumper. Supposedly some states you have to have a bumper, is what Indian told me, because I was asking why this apparatus exists, but whatever. We're gonna, we're gonna do our thing. So, uh, yeah. I might need to go get some metal. Should I use stainless or just some mild steel and paint it? I think probably just some mild steel and paint it because I don't have any argon. Oh, that means I still can't take weld. I guess I might need to get argon too. It would look so much cooler with something more appropriate. So we're gonna do something. It doesn't even it doesn't even need to be super substantial. Just a bracket coming off here, bracket coming off here. I'm sorry, can you see? Just a I'm gonna build a bracket coming off here with a little taper, somewhere to bolt that light back on, and then a piece across here to hold the license plate. I mean Shouldn't be that bad. Uh, I guess I could build a spot for the license plate light, maybe. It doesn't look like it really comes out of there. Oh, maybe it does. It does unbolt. Let me unbolt that. All right, a couple hours later. I decided to go with a 4x4 four four sheet because I went to Ace and 12x24 was $15 and I probably would have bought two of them. So 30 bucks and that was 50. So we got many more square inches. All right. So I'm just trying to figure out how I want to design this bracket. Those are the center of the bolt holes. So that'll get cut off there. And then we need, do I put these back here or back here? Yeah, I think I should leave room for them. Something like that. five and a half to get our license plate under the tail light where we want it. Ta-da! All right. We got some hardware for this operation. Oh, I drilled those just the right size. Oh, dang. Okay, I drilled those like just the right size. We got a little bit of metal in the way. Oh man. Well, that is freaking perfect. I hope I can nail the other one that good. We'll find out. But that, 
That's perfect. That's why it pays to take your time with a template. Maybe I shouldn't have done this little hump. So then the license plate will go here. The blinker will go here. The blinky blink. I'm gonna have to drill some holes for her. Oh yeah, that's gonna be perfect. I don't know whether to put it flat or angle it the same as the tail light or it has this flat part on it. Or do I just have it flat? We'll have to drill for this part and this little nubbin. It's like a locator and our bolt hole. I highly doubt I'll nail all three of those, but I'll do my best. So, I don't know how many of you guys work with hand tools and, you know, just basic hand tools. I built this with a six inch cutoff wheel on a four inch grinder, a 36 grit flap disc, a piece of cardboard and a pen, and some drill bits with a battery powered drill. You saw how well it fit on the bike, and then I was whining about getting these holes for the blinker, and that file, whatever, that, that notch is supposed to be there for this rubber on this blinker. It doesn't show up very well, but it's there. But this is super, super satisfying because it fits perfectly. Our bolt hole's a little bit off. I mean, it's a 30 second off. It's a 30 second off. 25 foot fat max, a pen, a piece of cardboard, and an angle grinder. Now I just have to build one more. <laughs> Hopefully I do as good as a job. Let's find out. I was showing you guys how awesome this fit and the camera battery died. I don't know where it left off, but you can see it's got no wiggle in it. I think I'll take off a little there so it's not touching the paint because it looks like it is and maybe a little on that one too. It looks like we might have ended up a little further down, but man, I'm... It's a hand-built part. I can't argue with that. That's... Whew. That's nice. I mean, we could spend more time dialing it in too. Get, we could make that other gap bigger, but when I'm done, you won't be able to tell. So you can't see both sides at the same time anyway. Anyway, I'm gonna keep at it. It's getting later and later. All right. So this is going to be our plate holder. And this it's going to be welded in between these two and the license plate light will be right there and this is just kind of a filler panel I'll hide the wiring back there and stuff I'm going to have some excess it looks like but I wish I could step back and look at it I suppose I could tape it there We will just look at it when it's done. So I'm gonna cut this out of metal instead of cardboard. And then I'm gonna call it a night and finish this in the morning. It is actually Savannah's birthday today, which I was going to make. Let me turn around. I was gonna do some stuff to her truck today, but it's been raining off and on and the truck got wet, so I started on this. But I got all week to do that. She rides her motorcycle to work. But I do want to get inside and hang out with her for the rest of her birthday. But while I smell like cutting wheel and metal, I am going to cut this out. And I will see you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It just started raining when I walked in here. It's uh, 6 a.m. Hopefully the rain stops so we can take this thing to the DMV. It needs a VIN inspection because I bought it in Washington. We're in Idaho. 
Ah. We gotta finish up what we were doing though. Oh, stay coffee. Don't spill. This is this is what we cut from the cardboard. This is where the plate goes. And this goes in between the Twix. But I wanna I need a hole saw. I don't have a one inch hole saw. So I think first thing, we're gonna go to Ace Hardware. And believe it or not, they are open. I have an Ace Hardware here that's open 24 hours a day. It's fantastic. So uh, let's go do that. So inside this Super One Foods exists an Ace Hardware. And they have almost everything a regular Ace has. They have two by fours. They got Simpson strong ties. The Dorman section is the same. You can get Chrome button head hardware here. You can get all your Ace things Boom. here. Boom. It's even a Milwaukee hole dozer. One inch acquired at the grocery store. Open 24 hours a day. <laughs> I love that. It's so awesome. So handy. <clears throat> I don't live very far away from here either. <clears throat> it's a like an extra two miles to come to this one or something. But super handy to have an ace open 24 hours a day. So we got our one inch hole saw. I have an arbor, really nice one that, oh, well, it was really nice before I went through a fire, but she's just a little stiff. The problem, I forgot about this with the one inch. Always something. So I might have to go back to Ace. I don't know. I'm gonna look around the shop and see if I have another arbor. Well, we were able to get her all apart and get our new whole hog on there. What they call it, whole dozer. The whole dozer. So uh, let's drill some holes. See, uh, poor man's hand wipe. A little simple green, a little mist. Boom. Reusable, not disposable. A bracket. So we'll get we'll get this thing painted, and then we'll get it on the bike. Both the blinkers on it. I definitely need. More time under the hood TIG welding. I wish I could make it look better, but it's gonna take some hood time. So, that's why we do things like this, so we can get the hood time in. What do you think, rough time? How'd I do? Good? Good. All righty. Here is the scoop. We are in line with the Kootenai County Qless app daily do. There's 22 people in front of me. It says 35 minutes, but that's bullshit. It'll take, that'll take a little over an hour. So we need to get on the road by about nine o'clock to get down there. And well, you can't see. Nothing's back on the bike. It's painted. It's still a little wet. I got some more coffee brewing inside. We're gonna brew the coffee, drink a cup of coffee, and then we're gonna bolt this thing back together, wire it, and then we're gonna go get uh, a plate for this thing. I like to do personal plates because I think it's fun and funny. Um, and I don't care if it's easy to remember or not. I don't. I don't care if people know my license plate number. They can. I don't know. Come find my house. Come fuck around and find out. So, Savannah says you have to wait a year with a new vehicle for some reason. I don't know. We're going to figure it out when we get down there. But I really want to do burn. I want the plate to say burn. You know, Indian. It's an Indian. Indian burn. Get it? I could do engine. I-N-J-U-N. 
it's derogatory, but I am native, so whatever. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> but burn. Burn's Alrighty. good. Alrighty. She's still a little tacky, but we are number 15 in line, and it says there's only 30 minute wait, so we better, we better stop dilly dallying, drinking coffee, hanging out. I should have tacked these washers on here. That would have been handy. How's it look, rough time? We had a new development just in the past few minutes too, besides getting this thing licensed and tabbed. We're gonna go get a piece of equipment. So, if we get to a point, I should have put blue Loctite on those. It's easy enough to work on though. Man, 13 people, 25 minutes. I'm gonna leave the line. Inline actions, leave this line, leave. I hope this isn't a mistake. Back. I was there yesterday and I was in line for the Post Falls one. Oh, it says there's only a 25 minute wait. Join now. Choose one. Titling and registration, confirm. Ah, still only 24 minutes. 13 people in line. Now maybe I'll just be able to run right down there. Apparently Monday is not the day to go. All right, let's get our blinker on. I'm using these factory ones, so then it has this shoulder I'll be able to have somewhere to put some zip ties for the wiring. Look how rigid that is. Boom, boom, boom. Where's our place in line? 23 minutes still, still 13. Let's get some wiring. This is when it would be nice to have a motorcycle lift. Oh man, that looks so much better. Look at all that tire now. So we got a few more things to clean up obviously, but right now I gotta go. I gotta make sure I make it to the DMV today because I want a plate for this thing so I can ride it legally. And now I have to drive to Montana for something unrelated. I'll tell you about later. Success! <laughs> That's so awesome! Oh man! Alright! Now, I guess on to the next project of the day. I'll get some beauty shots of this thing once I get it cleaned up. And. Yeah. Anyway. I gotta go on to the next project. Gotta go to Montana. Come along. Let's do this.